Thank you all so much for coming. How's everybody doing? Yay! Clap your hands if you're seeing our quartet for your very first time. Any newcomers? Yeah, there's a few of you. Well, if you've been here before, uh, welcome back. We're thrilled to have you in our audience. We're going to have a great time. We have some brand new songs and some new and old songs. We're in our 25th year full-time gospel music. And uh, it's exciting to have y'all here because we, we've been doing this for 25 years and every day when we wake up, we know we get a chance to sing the greatest music in the world. Amen. Southern gospel music. One more time, put your hands together. Are you glad to see all these guys? Southern gospel music. 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 Heard. They can wound, they can heal, they can make the sinners blood run cold. 
textbooks from cover to cover. Teach, preach, or teach it, and then preach it again from one end to the other. Don't water it down, don't modern it up, let it say what it has to say. Books from cover to cover. Teach, preach, or teach it, and then preach it again from one end to the other. But don't water it down, don't modern it up, let it say what it has to say. fortunate, very blessed. I had a praying mama, and uh, I hope it's a blessing to you. When I was just a little kid, as I would leave my house, I'd hear my mama say, be good, as I was going out. But life just worked against me. And Mama never could believe That I was trying hard to be As good as I could be Now being good got tougher still As I began to grow Temptation came and I was weak Grieve my mama's soul So she began to pray for me That one day I would see That it would take the Lord To make me good as I could be Jesus saved my soul He blotted out my sinful past And washed me white as snow I still remember how I felt When sin had broken me I thought this desperate wretched man Was all I'd ever be for me 
Enjoy that only door. 
Wow. Nominated for Song of the Year. Listen, I don't know about the rest of you folks, but I grew up in a Baptist church, just a little old Baptist church. This is home for me, just a couple of ridges down the road. Let me tell you something, folks. If we'd have sang that song at our little old Baptist church, <laughs> they wasn't the one thing to do when you got through singing it. I'm going to ask our rushers if they would to come. <laughs> and there's, there's not a Baptist here that doesn't know what that means. You know what I love that song, but you know what I love most? I love the fact that I have a Heavenly Father that loved me enough that He sent the very best that He had. Amen? And did you enjoy Arthur Rice one more time, huh? I'm telling you something. If we could just get him to loosen up just a little. Let me take just a second to tell you who all these fellas are. Have you enjoyed them so far? This. And let me just introduce, I'll do this real quick, and that'll give the older fellas a chance to kind of catch their breath. This one playing bass guitar has been with our quartet the longest, ladies and gentlemen. 30 years he's been playing bass guitar for our quartet. 30 years. Wow. That's a long time to do anything. You know, a lot of folks don't stick around that long, but it's not like he had a ton of career opportunities available to him. So when he found one he liked, he just kind of hung with it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's my younger brother, Chris French. Y'all glad to see Chris? Hey, there was three of us boys growing up, and Chris was always the fireball in our family. Look at him. He, well, yeah. don't. Don't pick on me today. I've got a headache. I could, did you not hear that? No, what? Voices again? <laughs> Don't pick on you, what? I've got a headache, terrible headache. It's, it's actually sore. What's wrong? Well, of all mornings, I got pulled over coming to work this morning. <laughs> how, <laughs> how fast were you going this Well, time? it wasn't for going fast. It was for not going slow enough. No, he said I run a stop sign. Seriously? I didn't think that I did, but now that I've had time to reflect on it, I might have. I mean, just a little. See, he come up to my window, and he picked on my window, and he, I rolled the window down. He said, Mister, didn't you see that stop sign back there? And I said, yeah, I saw it. He said, well, you didn't stop. I said, well, I slowed way, way down. It's the same thing. I mean, I was just barely no, moving. No, you didn't tell me nothing, Yes, I did. There was nothing coming, and so, you know. I was, know. Yeah, I know. I wasn't even there, and I know exactly what happened. You done what, what the rest of us ever driven an automobile done. There wasn't nothing coming, and you just eased on through it. You didn't come to a complete stop. Did you know there's an actual name for that? Oh, yeah? What's that? I, I'm, no, I'm serious. There's an actual, it's called the California Stop. Oh, really? Did you know that in Sevier County it's called illegal? Well, <laughs> at the tune of about 80 bucks? <laughs> well, anyway, one thing led to another. We kind of got to arguing about it. I said it was the same. He said it wasn't. You had to he, know you was going to lose that argument. Well, he got all mad and all. See? And then he made me get out of the car. And then he got his billy stick out and started hitting me back over the head with it real fast. Yeah, what? yeah, put knots on there faster than I could rub them. Then look at me and said, now you want me to stop or just slow down? <laughs> but, see, I bet you learned a lesson. Yeah, you need to wear a helmet. No, but... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on the piano. Twenty-four years old. Can you imagine that? Twenty-four years old and all that talent, single, nice-looking, talented, tons of personality, and he's got money. <laughs> These are just a few of the things he asked me to mention about him today. He's from Harriman, Tennessee, Andy Stringfield. How about it for Andy? What's going on there, buddy? I'll tell you. What's going on? You look like you're up to something. No, I'm not up to anything. Are you good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. You, uh, Andy was a, uh, been with us uh, going on four years now, so three or four years, something like that. And he uh, uh, attended the University of Tennessee down here, a huge Tennessee fan. 
And before he went to school, uh, grew up, mom and dad raised him in a wonderful home, taught him music, and uh, made it available to him. Mm -hmm. That's not all you do. No, no. Uh, you, you know what my career was before I started playing piano full time? Your career? Yeah. No. This is my second career. My first career, I was uh, in the lumber business with my dad. My dad owns a sawmill. So he made me get up and go to work with him. Was, was he any good at it? Oh, yeah, we were real good. We, we were. You mean me you? and my dad. Let me give you an example. Have you ever heard of the Sahara Forest? No, um, no, I've heard of the Sahara Desert. Well, that's what they call it now. <laughs> On the drums. <laughs> I had no idea he had so much family here. Welcome. 20 years, 20 years. This young fellow's been playing drums for our quartet. He's from Oceana, West Virginia, Dennis Murphy. How about it, right back? Have you enjoyed this guy's bass singing, ladies and gentlemen? Wow. I love bass singing, and I love to hear this guy. That he's been with our quartet going on seven years now. He's from Brunswick, Georgia. How about it for Jeff Chapman right there? Well, this guy, what can I say about this fella? It ain't already been said, ladies and gentlemen. He's an incredible talent, one of the greatest singers to ever come through gospel music. Joined our quartet 15 years ago from Asheville, North Carolina. How about it for Arthur Wright? Obviously, you got family here, too. That's good. Six years he's been with our quartet from Martin, Tennessee, Billy Hodges. How about you, Billy? My name's Steve French. One more time. That's all the kingdom man. Asking God for a miracle You heard your trusted physician Say you better get ready for the funeral Then you felt the touch of a healing hand From a God who can resurrect a lifeless man Let me tell you what you already knew The rocks between the hard place and you Everything he ever promised is true. The rocks between the hard place and you. One day you know you're gonna surely be between the devil and the deep blue sea. If you didn't have a Lord, you wouldn't know what to do. Oh, no. right there in the middle of your darkest night, you see a blue that everything's alright. If you didn't have the Lord, you wouldn't 
strive The power that grace still displays For this monument where Jesus was sent Was in card with the story of death It simply reveals a grave no longer sealed And the empty tomb says the rest So 
here and sing and not feature these three young fellas sitting behind me. These guys are amazing. Four time band of the year. They won band of the year four times. You know what? They won it for four out of the last seven years and Phil asked me the other day, so why do you bring up the seven part? Well, the reason I bring it up was they won it four times. They were the last one to win it and then three years ago they did away with that particular award. They no longer have the band of the year. So what I'm saying is, since you won it last, you won it four times, now they no longer have it. You know what that means? I sure do. What? There's a little something fishy going on. No. <laughs> no, that means you guys are going to be band of the year from now on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that too. I mean, forever. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I tell them when we get to heaven, they may get to play for the heavenly choir someday. You know? I mean, they might. Hey, I tell you what, if we do, we'll try to get word to you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know you're saved. That's right. And have been off and on for 50 there's years. There's no off and on. No, there's not. There's no off and on. No. Well, why couldn't you have been baptized I nine times? I have not been baptized nine times. That's where you learn to swim. It, it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, four-time banded here. How about it? The Kingdom Air Band.
Could you, could you stand a little more? Can you stand just a little more? Just go over at the piano just a minute and take the take the hymn book. And Mr. Kid over there. Y'all want to hear the kid on the piano do one? You ready to do this? Yeah. I told you to pick, huh? Yes. All right, I told you to pick you. What page are you doing? 132. How many of you know what the old red back hymnal is? You know what that is? That's the King James Version of all hymn books. Page 132. You know why he's doing this song? I didn't even know the kid could sing when he joined our quartet. And then I found out he could, and he filled in a little bit for Arthur. And then he spilled in for me some. And uh, so this song features him playing piano, singing the baritone part, my part, and singing the lead part. You gonna sing some lead? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Hey, uh, <clears throat> wait a minute there, buddy. We got a lead singer, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, here's what, here's what I want. To... Hey, turn around there now. now. Here you go, this intro's all you and you just, Jump up there and sing the lead part when you feel it necessary. Okay. Over on the bright Elysian shore, where the howling tempest comes no more. I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river some sweet day. Far beyond the partings and the tune, where the charming roses ever bloom. I'll meet you by the river, meet you by the river some sweet day. I'll meet you by the river, meet you by the river some sweet day, some happy day. By the bright and shining river, bright and shining river. City far beyond the stars. I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river some sweet day. I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river some sweet day. I'll meet you by the river, 
meet you by the river. Meet you by the river some sweet day. By the bright and shining river. Bright and shining river far away. After we have blown these prison bars to a city far beyond the stars. I'll meet you by the river. Meet you by the river some sweet day. Beyond the gates of life so fleeting There is for us a better It's a place where peace shall reign forever And sighs and tears they'll never come Beyond the gates, beyond the sunset New life immortal for us waits And we'll be at home on life's fair morning Beyond the gates, beyond the Beyond the gates in my Jesus likeness And forevermore we shall live on Oh, I want to meet all you Christian brothers and I'll look for you when that morn shall dawn. Beyond the gates, beyond the sunset, new life immortal for us waits. And we we'll At home on life's fair morning, beyond the gates, beyond the Beyond the gates in my Jesus likeness And forevermore we shall live on Oh, I want to meet all ye Christians Brothers. And I'll look for you when that morn shall dawn. Beyond the gates, beyond the sunset, new life be At home on life's fair morning.
beyond the gates, beyond the
Guys, let, let me, thank you all so much. That's, that's, that's the end of the video. Y'all sit down just a minute before I turn you loose. And, uh, well, well, uh, uh, in, in the video? Yeah, that's the end. No. Whoa. I thought we, I thought, I mean, I thought it was a given thing that I was going to sing on the video. I mean, it's, I got it written down. I want to think. What? I got it written down on my paper. Didn't you get a copy? Everybody of you has never heard him sing. Clap your hands. How many of you are hearing him for your first time? Clap your hand. About the same. Yeah, uh, be. Dennis been with our quartet 20 years and started singing about 19 years ago. And it kind of started, um, he came to me one day and said, if we needed anybody to fill in, just to let him know. And I said, well, Dennis, what part do you sing? And it, uh, this truth of my hand up, I'll never forget. He looked at me and said, how many parts are there? I said, well, there's four. Oh, yeah, there's right. baritone, lead, tenor, bass. Yeah, I, and, uh, I sing them all. I, I jump all over the place I, I, in, in the same song. So you, you're going to sing all four parts on this song right here. Yes. I let him sing during our Christmas show back 19 years ago. We were outside, and it was a cold Christmas night, and I let him sing. And I'll never forget the song he sang. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Remember that? Well, it was better than that. This, that was the song. I was cold. That was the song. And listen, I told him, I said, Dennis, you need to start singing. You need to find a different song if you're going to sing, because he would sing that at Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July, song. Chestnuts Roasting On. I said, find a different song. Then he got into songwriting. In 2007, he wrote a song called God's Word that we sent out to radio stations. Listen to this. BMI, it was the most played song for the year 2007 in Southern Gospel Music. BMI brought him to Nashville, gave him a big award and all that stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, I said all that to say this. If you don't think God can use you, yeah, well, where'd he go? Oh, go over and uh, pull you up a couple of stools. Uh, they can edit that out. <laughs> hey, no, that uh, people ask about. Uh, and thank you, Steve, for those wonderful words. Uh, there was a couple in there. Um, but people ask about songwriting, and they ask about that song, and just the, real quickly the story behind that. Uh, one night I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and had those words and the tune to that song going through my head. So I got up and went there and sat down at my desk and I wrote that song in, I don't know, about 20, 30 minutes. Um, and then I went back to bed and I got up the next morning and I thought, mm, I think I wrote a song last night. And <laughs> I thought, boy, I bet that's going to be good. Uh, so I went in there and, and looked at the paper and I read it and it was. <laughs> and believe me, nobody was more surprised than me. <laughs> but this song right here is another one I wrote for me because I have a message that I want to get out there, folks. And I want you to listen real close to what this song says. And uh, if you want, you can do this. I have made a living in this great land, playing drums and singing in a gospel band. And even though I'm happy by doing what I do, there's something that I think I need to share with you. I've been keeping it a secret for a long time, but now I'm going to get it off my mind. When is Bill going to put me on a gay bird video? Or does he think that my singing will completely steal his show? So girl, will you put me on your gay turn video? Now you may think I'm joking, but this is for real. I really want to sing for a million dollar bill. 
I wouldn't hold back. I'd give it all I got. And I could sing a solo if I was put on the spot. If he called me up tomorrow, I'd go running just to make it to the next gate for homecoming. Sit down, lady. So, Bill, how would you put me on your game third video? That's right. Or do you think that my singing will completely steal the show? Would make my mom so proud. So, Bill, will you put me on your game for a video? Come on, boy. Now, he don't have to pay me. Well, I would do it all for free. Just give me some of those tapes to sell. And we'll make video history. Hang on. Folks. I'm sensing a real spirit of giving in here today. Are you feeling it? <laughs> it's just me, I guess. Hmm. You know, well, you're not feeling it much, are you? <laughs> you know, people out. Oh, looky here. Is that for me or Steve? You know, people, look here. Hey, you know what, folks, right now, people are coming. Anybody else, right now, real quickly. Oh, thank you, honey. Yes, thank you very much. Come on now, real quickly. I'm not going to drag this out. Anybody else? Come on. Folks, don't cheat yourself out of a blessing here today. Come on. I see that hand. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Very nice. Very nice. I know what that is, though. That's hush money, ain't it? <laughs> you know, people ask all the time, they, they say, has Bill heard the song? Is he, is he going to have you? Is he, does he know about it? I'm here to tell you, he knows about the song. He's heard it. And I haven't talked to him directly, but our lawyers are talking. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be able to settle out of court, so don't worry about it. No, it doesn't scare me, though, because if he walked in this theater and walked right here and looked at me and had that look on his face, I'd just look at him and say, Hey, Bill, how when you gonna put me on your game for video? Come on. Or do you think that my singing will completely steal the show? So Bill, will you put me on your game third video? Oh, come on, Bill. Oh, will you put me on your game third video? Yeah.
about the video we're doing. I kind of liked it, I guess. Mm. Makes it pretty good stuff. I reckon. All right, then. <laughs>